Hello friends, so now we are going to start our project online quiz management system in PHP and MySQL. So first of all you can see we select this template, this is the index page, means after login we are going to use this design, here we are going to display our countdown timer as per exam and here you can see this white part, here we are going to show our questions with next and previous and here we are going to set our all the menus. This is the student side design and we need to choose one more design for admin side but we will choose it but now first of all you can see this is the login page design this is the login form and this is the register form design yeah I am going to provide this design this theme so you can download this theme uh, and I am going to add this theme download path in video description so you can find path of download link in video description you can find this template link on video description so first of all we are going to perform this register.html so you can see I already opened this code in my editor when you are going to download this zip file you will get this code in template so here I am going to add new file register so it is register.php now I am going to copy this old code of register.html and I am going to paste inside this so now here I am going to run this localhost online quiz and register.php yeah if you are new in PHP then I am going to show you you need to download this folder and you need to paste inside 80 dots folder here you can see I added this online quiz folder so you need to add inside this 80 dots folder yeah so now here you can see this is register.php now I am going to create one new file for connection so I am going to give name connection.php here dollar link is equal to mysql i underscore connect and here we need to give localhost here we need to give root then mysql i underscore select underscore db and here we need to give our database name we are going to create database name with online quiz so now we are going to save this file and now we are going to include this file here include connection.php so now I am going to open PHP my admin it is a one kind of MySQLi and here we are going to create our database so here I click on databases and in connection file you can see our database name we uh, declare here online underscore quiz so I am going to set here online underscore quiz yeah database is created now I am going to create first table name registration we are going to take first name, last name, username, password, email, contact and one is id so I am going to take 8 field id here first name here last name here username here password here email and here contact yeah and this is not important so you can keep blank so it will not consider that 5 now I am going to take your primary key and here we need to give auto increment in id only in id I provide primary key and auto increment here I am going to take where care everywhere where care
year not needed year first name 50 50 50 50 50 and here also 50 now I am going to save yeah so registration table is created now we are going to write code for it so I am going to open this register.php and here we need to give one prompted so here we have prompted I am going to clean this action we don't need this ID I am going to give name form one and then I am going to give method post yeah here already I take first name last name username password email and contact only we need to give here input type text name first name so we need to give this type everywhere paste paste here in password we need to give type password here paste here also paste yeah now we need to give name so I'm going to take name last name here name username here name password here name email and I'm going to take here name contact yeah now you can see this is the button so here we are going to take button type submit name submit one yeah and after creating this form we need to write in such query for this form here so here I'm going to write if is set dollar underscore post and we need to give submit one this is the name of our button you can see name of button is submit one here I am going to write echo testing so first of all we are going to check this button is worked or not yeah here we are going getting error spelling mistake okay now I am going to press this button and you can see we got testing it means this is perfect now we need to set two message boards one kind of one is we are going to check here username should be unique so when user going to enter same username then we need to give error and when registration done on that time also we need to give one message so for that message we are going to take it bootstrap alert so now here I am going to take bootstrap alert oh we can take from w3 school yeah from this website okay so I am going to take first one this success and after this button I am going to paste and just I am going to run this form so we can get idea we got that or not yeah we got it and here we need to give style margin top 10 pixel yeah here we got this now we are going to change this message account registration successfully now we need to use this type of same message but not success we are going to use here danger and here already exist here I am going to write this username is already exist now I am going to run this and you can see we got this both now first of all we need to disable this both so I am going to do here display none here also I am going to do display none now we need to give ID so I am going to give ID success and here I am going to give ID yeah failure 
so now first of all we are going to check the entered username is available or not so for that mysqli underscore query dollar link then select star from then we need to write our table name registration where username is equal to we need to pass this username so i'm going to copy this and here we need to pass dollar underscore post username then dollar count is equal to zero here dollar count is equal to mysql i underscore number of rows dollar res if dollar round greater than zero it means this type of username is available then we need to display this message box so script type text javascript and here you can see our failure id is failure so document dot get element by id failure dot style dot display is equal to block okay so right now there is no username is available so here i am going to write else means this type of username is not available then we are going to perform insert query so for insert query we are going to write mysqli underscore query dollar link then insert into registration then values here you can see we take seven parameters so if first id is auto increment so we need to pass null then one two three four five six here we need to pass dollar underscore post first name then last name then username then password then email and then contact so now i am going to change here first name then i am going to give last name then username then password then email and then i am going to give contact yeah and after each and every query we need to write or die mysqli underscore error dollar lean so when you are getting any error you can see exactly what error is there here okay now we need to display our success bots so i am going to write here i am going to copy this success and i am going to paste here but at a time we need to display one message only so when failure is activated i am going to make success to display none and when success is displayed i am going to make display none yeah so now we are going to check i am going to write here amit andipra username is amit i am going to take password amit123 email and contact number now i am going to press register you can see i got message success account registration successfully and i am going to check here we got record here or not yeah we got record here now again i am going to register with same username so amit andipara amit i am going to use any password now we should get error yeah you can see already exist this username is already exist and here we are not getting entry so this way you can perform registration form in online page management system in next video i am going to show you how we can make login page inside that for this template please refer video description you will get download link over there thank you so much for watching my video
If you like my video, then please like it and share it. Thank you so much again.